okay so we are live here and let's start so first let's open the vs code and then we will have the javascript game live this one and i should open this so that i can read your chats like this okay so who is here is there anyone hello Say hello, hi, anything. Okay, so third day for Hemant is here. Yay! Hello, Hemant. How are you? How was your day? And uh, anyone else? You can just message me on the chat section. And before we can move, I can tell you that. If you want to join the Bitfilms Discord channel, I can give you this link. And here we have the link. Let's paste it, send, and then I can pin it. Yep. I should say it's like a, I have to say join Discord. So join. <laughs> discord server here like this and now I should delete this one and pin this one good busy in Diwali shopping oh very nice I am also going after this live why is not happening how i can make it pin it's not pinning i don't know what happened let's just pin from here yeah okay that's fine Okay, so let's start our today's ping pong game and uh, I can first show you what a ping pong game look like. So if you have uh, noticed uh, JavaScript game script game, here we are. So this, no, this is the, no, 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 JavaScript game, where is that? The Netlify link should be there. Yeah, here we have. So ping pong game, something look like something like this. So you have a ball on the left and you have a ball on the, uh, you have uh, two pedals actually. I can just zoom out for you. Yeah, so we have uh, two pedals on the left and the right left one is the pedal which is actually moving constantly a right one is moving constantly and the left one we have to control using our mouse so this is the one we are going to work and then we, later we will uh, see uh, with your suggestions we can do some weird things just like we did yesterday for our tic-tac-toe game so this is the one we have to create so let's start and first thing let's open sidebar create a new file called pingpong.html <coughs> sorry about that create like this 
ping pong game. Okay, so for this we need this canvas. So I can copy the canvas detail from this sneak uh, game we had. So I can close these things. Okay, so let's copy these things, the canvas and this h1 and also this div inside the and let's close this div and also we need the styling so that it will be at the center and now copy the path and paste it okay cool so let's zoom hmm so first we need two pedals one on the left and one on the right and pedals are simple rectangle so we need a left pedal and a right pedal so we have this canvas create a script tag a script and say const canvas is equal to document dot get element by id of canvas id is canvas then const ctx that means context is like canvas dot get context of two dimension and then we can start building the right pedal so let's create a function called draw right pedal and start with the context start uh, begin path and context close path in between I want a rectangle starting from let's say 10 and 10 width is very less so let's say 10 width and height is good so 50 is the height and uh, fill style with uh, you can say brown color so brown color context dot fill okay so first we need to change the title title what is the title java snake <laughs> ping pong game yeah i think you are saying this one yeah so it is done Hemant, thanks for this okay so since we have this uh, and uh, we need to call this function so let's call it draw right pedal okay so this is here but I want this to be on the right on the right means uh, it should be having an x-axis with uh, the canvas width so I can say here canvas dot width width like this if I say that it's not visible because it's going into or you can say outside of the wall so I just need to say subtract 10 because the width is 10 of the pedal yes we have this now we need it at the center of the right side so how we can make it center so x axis should be uh, you can say the center of the uh, center of this pedal should match the center of the wall or you can say the right side so I can actually get the center of the pedal by just saying that half of this pixel so how we can find the center so the y-axis should be canvas dot height minus 10 by 2 10 by 2 means 5 and why I am doing this 10 by 2 I will tell you later but for now if I refresh oops actually I need to say um, canvas height by 2 minus 10 by 2 yeah but I think what if I'm not saying anything okay so let's have it 
then hmm so 20 looks like 20 is the good thing but why because I need to say 25 the height is 50 so 50 by 2 so 50 by 2 yeah this is the exact center place so right pedal is there for the ping pong game and uh, what we need next we need to extract all these things into a variable so let's say let pedal width and i'm not saying total width i just say w so pedal width is 10 and then let pedal h height is 50 then i also can create let canvas width is canvas dot width and canvas h canvas dot dot height it should be so dot whoa asif has given a super chat thank you asif and uh, great work go ahead brother very very thank you a big thank you so much of thank you <laughs> so this is nice asif and uh, thanks for your support and uh, i would like to love to chat with you if you can join uh, discord channel if you have already joined then just message me there we can have some chat there that's nice brother thank you anyways move forward so now i can say instead of canvas dot width i just say minus w and subtracting the pedal w that means pedal width similarly canvas height divided by 2 minus pedal height divided by 2 okay and here come pedal width and pedal height okay so this is the one we have created and it's having the same result now since we have the right pedal we need the left pedal also how we can do that let's have it let's recreate it and what I'm thinking no I'm not thinking anything <laughs> so let's say it's a left pedal and with uh, small t only one t and call this left pedal and then how we can say that the pedal should be on the left that means the x-axis of the pedal is going to be the zero exact zero so this is the x-axis and it should be zero just this thing yep it is now at the center but on the left side so these two pedals are there and the third one is uh, we need a ball so Kim says hi hello Kim how are you next we need to create the ball so let's have a draw ball okay and let's create a ball and uh, let's copy these things and have a ball here but this is going to be context dot arc and arc will get the x y radius uh, everything is 10 starting angle is 0 and ending and or it should cover full angle that means 2 math dot pi so 2 pi is the 180 deg uh, 360 degree and uh, this is we have created and uh, it should be green colored ball and uh, check it yeah it is uh, okay nice uh, i don't know but uh, fine since we have the ball uh, actually we can have the ball at the center very center or top center yeah so it should be uh, at uh, on the x-axis it should be at 150 is it okay Hmm, fine and then y-axis let's say 20 
little bit at the center yeah so we have to start it from here hmm okay we will check that later next we need to move the ball how we can move the ball let's have a new function called move ball move ball and this is a function once again I'm going to create move ball okay and how we can move the ball we just need to change the X and Y position of the ball at some interval so we need to extract these things into a variable or an object let ball is equal to x which we have decided 150 now then y is 20 and uh, I think we we should also have a radius at as 10 hmm so here I can say ball dot x ball dot y ball dot radius okay now okay so <laughs> we need to change it now how we can change we just need to have an interval so set interval or I can show you new thing request animation frame and the request animation frame is a function which is going to be call the same function again and again for the uh, animation kind of thing but here I need to first clear the full rectangle so clear rectangle with a start from 0 0 go till canvas width and canvas height canvas height and uh, you are best keep going uh, thank you repeat man <laughs> repeat man nice one okay so this is the one then context dot uh, no no context actually we need to draw all other things so draw left pe right pedal then draw left pedal and draw ball okay that's done so we are recreating everything but before recreating I need to change the position of the ball so I say ball dot x is going to be original position that means ball dot x plus a dx a dx is a fraction of pixel we want to to increment so let's create this dx at the top so let dx is equal to 1 for now and dy is 0 that means y movement is not having anything let's have like this okay now since we are having this request animation frame it's going to rerun this uh, same function it's like a recurring function so let's reload and uh, we have the issue and issue let's open console in the console yes we have some error okay so I had to, to remove the one T from the draw left pedal reload and yes you can see very smoothly this ball is moving there is no set interval instead we have used this uh, um, request animation frame and this is how we are moving it now instead of this uh, having DX only I want to also move into DY position so Y y and dy and since we had dy as 0 I can convert it to 2 let's see yep it is moving very nicely what if I say 1.5 <laughs> yeah this is okay this is okay now next what we have in a ping pong in a ping pong the right pedal move along with the ball it's like a right pedal is in uh, computer is controlling the right pedal so you can see the 
whatever the position of this ball is there the right pedal is moving exactly according to that okay so for that what we can do actually we can move the right pedal also but to move the right pedal we need to change the right pedal information but here if you go we have the right pedal here where is that yeah here we only have a right pedal information hard coded it's not actually hard coded but right and left both are having same position so let's create one more object for the right pedal so we have the ball and then I say right P means pedal if you want to write full you can have it and we need X axis and we need a Y axis okay so let's see we have for the right pedal these two things as an X and Y so I can say right pedal dot X comma right pedal dot Y comma okay okay that's done and here I can actually paste it and call it X as this one Y as this one okay let's now also have the left pedal information we know we need the left pedal information also so we have left 0 X and uh, Y is this one so left pedal dot X and left pedal dot Y okay so that's done next we have to put it X is 0 and Y is canvas by 2 all these things okay so now we have the variable for right pedal X and Y just like we are changing the position of X and Y for the ball we can change right pedal dot X no dot Y actually it's only moving on the up and down direction so Y position is exactly same of the ball Y position and then we redraw everything let's try and yes you can see but the problem is it's the ball is not touching at the center of the pedal it's touching at the top that means we need to subtract uh, the subtract you can say half of the height so minus of pedal height by 2 okay reload and see now it exactly touching or going through the r center of the right pedal amazing next what we need we need actually to collide from this right pedal and then move in a different direction okay so this means we need a collision detection and instead of this calling a move ball because we are moving everything I just call it move instead of move ball so you can also call it animate okay so here we have a move now next is collision detection so detect collision and at the last create a function detect collision how we can detect collision it's like if the y axis no if the x axis of ball is equal to the x axis of the pedal then I can say okay you need to move into different direction this means it's a if condition which says ball dot x if it is uh, greater than because on the right side x is increasing so that's why we need to check if x value will become greater than the 
can, the pedal x then we can redirect it into different direction if this is equal to pedal right or actually right pedal dot x position if it is greater than then i can say change the y direction of uh, the ball or i can say change the x direction actually change the x direction to a negative of dx like this is it okay mm. actually this has to be dx to be negative of original dx so it's moving with the same speed but we are changing the direction which is not doing anything uh, why ball x become greater than right pedals x okay so what if i change y direction of y nothing is happening so that means it's not moving inside of this uh, uh, if condition if i can have a log reload yes we are not having any log but if i move this log outside yeah we have lots of log got the point i got the point see we are having this collision detection only once but whenever we are having a move or movement or animation you can say then also we need to just when we change anywhere actually have a detect collision detect collision and now we don't need this log and it sh should work for x axis reload and yes it is colliding and properly moving you can see very nice the next issue is it's going into the pedal we need the surface of the pedal so this means for, from this x axis of the pedal we need to actually subtract the pedal width let's try this yeah it's good you can see and now next collision has to be from the bottom of the page or the canvas so that it will collide and move to the left left wall you can say so here we have and i can call it uh, right pedal collision this is the right pedal collision then i need bottom collision and bottom collision is like ball dot y if the ball dot y is become greater than canvas height then we need to change the y direction so y direction is minus of y let's have this yes it is moving amazing 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 yeah we have this but you have you can see it's going into the wall that is because we need to subtract the ball radius from this uh, height now this time see yeah this is exactly hitting the floor <laughs> one more time yes it is doing the same thing next we need the top wall collision also so i can say top collision top collision if ball dot y is less than zero just zero then i need to change the y direction once again and try this and first we need to move the ball at from uh, to the upper direction for that 
I can actually change the y axis to minus 20 so that it will move up in up direction which should be if I have it like 100 <laughs> which is not moving let's see okay so it's moving on the downward direction and yeah you can see actually there is a collision detection from the top but why we have we don't have this minus uh, is not working hmm so it's not working on the minus direction I don't know why it's not working it's fine it's <laughs> I can see that there is a collision from the top but one more time there is a inside a ball moving into the top you can see that means uh, we need this uh, zero and uh, we can say plus ball dot radius try this one yeah it is good now since we have everything in our control we have a right pedal left uh, top then bottom finally we need to have the collision from the left pedal only so we have the pedal right pedal collision here so I can replicate it and I say left pedal collision left pedal collision will be like uh, if it is less than the x-axis become less than the pedal width or I can generally say zero but you know it will go uh, into the pedal so then we need to check the pedal also here we have okay so I think we need the ball radius plus pedal width both of these things we need and yeah it is very very nice actually it's having here and now it should go into this but there, this is not the case it's only uh, detecting the x-axis wherever we are <laughs> so you can see it's colliding from there but we only want to collide for the pedal only to have that we we have to check that yes the x-axis of the ball should be like this but at the same time ball y-axis in is between the pedal height so I can say is uh, greater than y ball y-axis should be greater than the pedal y position or I can say right no left pedal <laughs> left pedal y position one more thing it should be less than y is less than left pedal y plus pedal height what I am doing here I am checking if the y axis of the ball is between is between the pedal height or you can say it is between the pedal initial and the final position initial position is pedal y and final is pedal y plus height of the pedal so now you will see that it's going to work for the pedal but not for other thing yes it has redirected now see if pedal is not there and it's going to the wall but when we uh, when the ball reaches behind the scene to that position then it's uh, uh, moving into the other direction so obviously we don't want because we are going to end the game when when he when the ball hits uh, the left uh, you can say left uh, wall okay so we need now the game over what is a game over condition game over condition is when the ball touches the left wall because if the wall is touching the left wall ball and wall then we can say game is over so let's have another function and this function will be on the move function 
so collision detection and uh, detect game over it's not detect game over it's check game over over but it's fine so detect game over now after the collision create a new function called detect game over and here we are let's do one thing wait a minute okay so here what we have to do if ball dot x is less than zero I can alert alert game over bang bang okay try this this time this should over the game okay this is fine but now yep we can see we have a game over but we need to stop the we need to stop our game and how we can stop our game so I need to create a variable which says game uh, started true or false and then we will have the request animation frame at that time so let's have a variable called is game running like this and obviously initially it is false but when we say move first we are saying move and one more time I'm saying that start game and start game is a function which is a move I'm converting move to start game and then first I say uh, no I think I don't have to do this okay yeah it's so it's okay so start game is there and before that I can say is uh, no I think I'm doing something wrong so let's get back that uh, move and then I'm going to create another called start game start game and in this start game I should have it at the top start game in this I'm going to say move and also I'm going to say is game running to true I'm making it true okay what is the benefit of doing this that means now I say is game running to false whenever game over it become false now what we can do since we have the running condition of the game we can say only do this request animation when game is running okay so reload game is running that's okay fine and uh, let's try this we have to s increase the speed actually it's taking too long time okay that's good and now it is stopped it is stopped that means uh, this is game running it become stop now we need to reset everything so how we can reset so we should have a setting of these things like ball and right left everything so let's create an at the bottom I'm going to create a function called reset game and I can call this reset game just when we have the game over so why not move this is game running to false from this reset game okay next what we need we need to reset the ball left right padding uh, pedal things and also dx dy so that's how we can do everything here and let's remove the let oops yeah now it's fine reload and I should increase the speed of ball so how we can increase 
so we have a dx and dy we can change the value of dx and dy so one is there I can have a 2 dx now it should, yeah it's moving fast oh <laughs> it was nice now game over and everything should go at its own position which is uh, not the case <laughs> okay so we are saying game over so why not have it uh, is game running after everything we have so that we can see what we are getting hmm okay so as soon as we say is game running to zero or say false it's not doing anything that means it's not even redrawing anything so I can manually redraw all of these things and I can change a little bit so dy is also become 2 now it's become faster and uh, okay and everything is reset but <laughs> we are getting two pedals why is that I think uh, we are saying game over and then we also need to clear the canvas first and then redraw so let's try this okay click okay yeah now it's fine so you see we are using these four things twice here we are using plus uh, we are using here these three things and these three things so I should say redraw a function called redraw where I can put all of these things so I can cut it and I say redraw so redraw will actually do all of these things so I have to remove it and now at the bottom create a function called redraw and move all these things inside it and then I say redraw and now it should work again yes it is working and this time we should clear everything okay and cleared one more thing you can see we are assigning all these things here plus we are assigning all these things here so once again we are repeating ourselves so we need to initialize the variable so first I say uh, game I say game init so game init is a function I'm going to create here which is going to set the value of all of these variables just like we did here so let's cut everything and I say game init so it should be with a small so game init call this and uh, I change the name from capital G to small g game init and paste it this means I just need to declare these variables so I can have this uh, variable comma comma so I can have like this all of these having this comma and that's okay yeah I think it is good all these things are here and let's try we have some issue it says x of undefined x of undefined I think I missed something okay so what what happened here we are saying game in it after drawing the pedal ball everything so very first we need to say game in it then draw all these things and uh, after that we can start the game 
yeah it's now okay so since we have this uh, thing here so game over is that okay so now we are having very clean structure and uh, final thing we need to do is uh, moving the left pedal with our mouse this means we need to say uh, Kash Shif is there and Pulkit says this is cool. Yeah, this is very cool. So finally we need to say uh, Navigate Left P that means left pedal So at the bottom I'm going to say function navigate and register a mouse movement so add event listener for Mo mouse move so mouse move and here I have to create an arrow function <coughs> let's log e that means the event and uh, reload you can see whenever I'm changing the mouse there is a log for that and nice cause shift says you deserve more audience I also feel so <laughs> I don't know why my channel is not growing anyways I need the Y axis so we have a screen Y and we have a client Y so what if I say like this is the one Okay, so let's have a client Y. So I say dot client Y reload and yeah, we have this. So see here we have a 32 because I think this is the 32 width and then we are increasing, increasing, increasing till the bottom of the canvas is 241. Hmm, this is weird because this is 300 total anyways we can set this uh, the Y position of the pedal to the client Y we also have a, a screen Y what about that hmm this is uh, okay this is fine So here we have a 130 and here we have a suppose a 530 so we have a 400 on that so I think we can use the client Y but then uh, whenever we are moving the mouse we just need to say left pedal dot Y position is going to be the client Y position let's see what's going to happen and now you can see the pedal is in my control this is little off from the mouse see the mouse is here <laughs> and uh, there's a little difference like it's dragging the the pedal instead I can have subtraction of let's say 100 pixel what about that I think this is exactly same you can see wherever the mouse we have and uh, this uh, pedal left pedal is moving wow what amazing we have done that so you can see this ping pong game is very nice and i should have a uh, you can say not a square canvas i should have a little different canvas let's first delete this thing and uh, i should i say not share <laughs> i say which should be 500 yeah and now it's good cool oh <laughs> this is amazing like very nice game we have created but next what we need also we need a line at the center of this uh, so that we have we should see the left and the right thing so let's say draw line so draw center line and one more time at the bottom 
I say function draw central line and I'm going to let's have this where we have all the draw part so we have a draw ball here we have and and I've, I can clone this copy this and then I say draw central line and to create a line line should be black colored and to create a line I say move from move to and moving to the canvas width by 2 at the center it's the x1 and the y position is 0 then comes it says this cut link is expired okay wait let me regenerate the new one let's wait let's wait just a minute I can actually have you can go on this Twitter or at my profile this is a never expiring link this one paste it and remove this pin and also this one also I say join discord server and here we go and I replace the pin which is pinned okay try this one and we will see later what happened okay so something happened and I can get back to the game okay so we are here we are here we are here we are here yes 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 okay so as I was doing here on our new one we have very nice functioning with the mouse but then what I want I want the line so we were creating the line so CDX move to width by 2 and the 0 and line 2 it will be like uh, once again canvas width by 2 this is the x-axis that means suppose we have a 500 so 250 will be the x position and y position will be the full canvas height and yeah let's uh, this is not there what happened I have a re okay I'm I think I'm not redrawing so we have a redraw function on this function I can redraw the center line also still it's not working and uh, I don't know why it's not working let's see move to this one line to this one filling with a black color everything is fine what happened let's say canvas draw line canvas draw line line 2 this is the thing it's fine context move to line 2 correct context move to line 2 what if I say 0 0 and let's say 100 and canvas height hmm still not there begin path black color fill close path mm -mm 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 -mm. 
and when we have movement then also we are redrawing everything that's why we have a redraw function inside this redraw we are drawing again the line and what if I draw a ball instead of this line I say have it at 10th position only okay so it's not working ah, here I just stuck why it's not having a line I can say console log hey okay see no, hey is there hey is there but why we don't have the line context begin path what if I don't have this fill thing they are having this thing okay I think we need to give the stroke dot stroke this is the one yep okay so finally we have the stroke but I need the dotted line not the solid line so how I can have the dotted line so is there anything given here line stroke uh, canvas I can search canvas line dotted Hmm. So we have a line set line dash set line dash is a parameter and inside that in an array we need to give the width of the visible and with width of the invisible or height you can call. So I can have a context dot set line dash in an array I say 5 by 5. So if I say that thing, reload, yes, we have a nice dashed line. One more time, amazing, we have here. But next, one people says, hi, guys, hello, everyone. Okay, need support, what kind of support we you need? Next, instead of having the ball green colored, uh, it would be cool if we have a real ball so let's search for ball image we have lots of ball images so let's open a trans get a transparent ball Yeah, this one is transparent, but it's too big. Why? Open, open, open. I think we have to use this one only. So let's save this file and I call it ball and save it. Then I'm going to add this ball into our file or project actually we have a ball.png and now where we are creating the ball we have a ball in this function instead of having this arc I want to have an image now I'm going to search for canvas draw image okay now we have a draw image function this is a fake transparent no this is a nice good transparent I think oh yeah I think you are right it's a fake transparent we will see that later but let's first have it here first how uh, we can draw image so we need 
first a very simple uh, canvas dot draw image first giving the image and then some of other things so first let's create the image so I can say context dot draw image and in that we need to give the image but we don't have the image anywhere so we can create a new image from the image constructor okay or I can simply say new image and then set the source is equal to the ball.png and then I'm setting the ball so we don't need any filling or anything else reload and we lose the ball it says draw okay so I think we got the incorrect no draw image is good then it says three argument one is passed what are the three argument we need image and okay dx and dy also we need so we know first is image and dx is ball dot x then comes ball dot y okay so okay so ball is too big too big so i think the fourth and the fifth one is the width and the height of the ball yes you can see ball is there <laughs> amazing amazing so instead of radius or we can provide the ball radius here as in width and the height so ball dot radius because it's a image so we have the width and height now it become very small so I can go to the ball we have defined somewhere yeah here we have a radius and now I call it radius as 25 Premiere after this crazy just got notification of Laravel breeze. Yes, <laughs> it is there. Okay, so now we have some issue because we are having radius, too big radius. And there is a lag because every time we are creating the ball. So we can also say here we have uh, navigation no not navigation we have a ball so draw ball now here I can say if we have the if we have the image okay so what we can do we can create a variable or let image and like this and inside this ball I'm going to define so I think internet is uh, going out so now I need to say image is equal to the new image and then this is the image but this is only going to happen if we don't have anything in the image so if we don't have anything then only recreate the image otherwise pass the image we previously have okay so now it become clear there is no lag but still we have this uh, issue of uh, you can say the issue of uh, radius that is a very bad thing so first we need to go to the collision detection I can remove the radius what if this is the collision for bottom so in the for this bottom collision it's going inside this so I think I need the radius for the bottom that's okay for the top if I remove the radius then what's going to happen yeah so this is fine and then for the right pedal I can remove the width of the pedal then no I think we need to subtract ball radius also 
no so I can subtract what I can subtract because it's going into this wall so I can say twice of twice of the pedal width yeah it's okay fine not a big deal so here also twice of pedal we can say for the width let's try oh there's a problem here okay so what I am going to do since uh, there's some uh, I think internet is running <laughs> out of the data in my mobile because I'm having this from my hotspot so we can continue this game for doing some crazy thing tomorrow and in that case we will have now six days <laughs> of games so we this is the third game and uh, what I'm what I want from your side is if you want then you can follow me on this Twitter we have this uh, Sarthak Sevi as my Twitter handle and uh, you can uh, join discord channel follow me here and if you want to support me you can go to the patreon.com slash bitfumes and you can support me because I'm full-time content creator full-time youtuber so I need your support if you are willing to help me otherwise just subscribing and uh, spreading the message whatever I'm doing is the best thing you can do to support me so let's end this and uh, if you want you can go and check out Laravel Breeze uh, which is a new authentication scaffolding for Laravel and what it is uh, how cool it is uh, you can go and don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to the channel so I'm going to end this uh, one and saying you bye bye and we will meet tomorrow